Hello everybody. Wonder Animation asked me if I could show how I would model a simple drill bit. So let me start with a circle with 24 edges. I'm in top view and make it uh, 4 by 4 millimeters and put everything in the middle. Hit the A key so we can see it. Then I go to Edge Mode, select all these edges, Control Copy, Control V, now Polygon Mode, select this polygon and delete it. Next I show the grid and go to the Pen tool in Lines Mode and Merge is checked. So I start here to here to here, drop the tool and now I can go to polygon mode, delete these polygons and delete the rest here. Now I select all these, control copy, control V, E key, put action center origin and control rotate this 180 degrees and connect these vertices together. Do the same here. The reason why I'm doing it this way is we will surely get flipped polygons and if I do it this way they will be symmetric and it's easier to fix the flipped ones. So back to perspective Toggle the grid and now I can go to duplicate, radial sweep, count of 12, put around the Y, 360 degrees, yes we make it a short drill. If you want to make it longer you can play around with the count and the end angle. And then I go to action center, origin and make the offset maybe 30 millimeters and click in the viewport. Mm, that's a bit too steep. I think I make it 50 millimeters like so. Now get rid of the helix and run mesh cleanup and you see this is what I meant, we have flipped polygon. So I flip this, go to polygon mode, select two in here, two in here, L key, do the same on the other side, two in here, two in here, L key, height, flip the rest, unhight, and now we should be good. And you see, if I go to tap, we have already something which looks a little bit like a drill. But on the real one, there is a lip on the cutting edge, which is this one here. So select two here, two here, L key, B for bevel, bevel it on the blue handle, but only maybe 0.2 millimeters. Then shift up arrow key, shift height the rest, go to edge mode. Now we can be certain we don't select edges which we don't want. So select this one, this one, this one, and how does it look here? And these ones, then the same here. These ones, these ones, these ones. Now go to the top. Deselect the top ones in case they have been selected and unhide everything. Now I shift tab to go to Pixar Sub D mode, vertex map, edge way tool, and you see I have assigned a keyboard shortcut, so I will only show this once and from then on use the shortcut. I put in a weight of 10% and click in the viewport. 
So drop the tool. I select these edges and these ones and do the same. So weight of 10% again. Now I go to the top and deselect this polygon and this one. Delete. Go out of Pixar Sub D mode. Select this top edge. We have 20 edges. Shift. No, sorry, just the Z key. Bring it up to about here. Twice as much as the last segment. Then go to System, Run Script, and run the perfect circle from Seneca Menor. And that looks not so bad. Good. The only thing we must do now is I select these top edges here. Alt, uh, call the vertex map and assign a weight of 0%, so we don't have hard edges up here. Shift tab again, that looks good. Now I can select this one, set again, once again, set key. Like so, run mesh clean up just in case we messed something up. No. Now I can select this one again, set, and make it to the right proportions. About so. Drop the tool. Then I select the bottom polygons here. Shift H, the rest, A to bring this into sight. Then go to Perspective View and select these edges and put in the polygon. Go to Bottom View, select this polygon and these ones. Hit the B key for Bevel, Bevel this in a little bit, drop the tool, C key. Cut an edge in here, shift click, cut an edge to here, shift click to here, shift click to here, shift click to here, and we have now two end guns left. So shift click to here, split this in the middle at 50%, then shift click to here and we have all quads. Now I shift up arrow to expand this selection, go to fall off, bring out a radial fall off from here, yeah, make it a bit bigger, like so maybe 4.3 by 0 by 4.3 and put everything in the middle. Then go to Perspective, W key and bring this up to about here. Now I can get rid of the fall off select the outer edges, like so, the ones here in the middle, then shift tab and I make this 20% weight because this is the cutting edge and click in the viewport. Let's see how this looks. Not bad. I select this middle one here, R key, and bring down to zero here and here. Now shift tab again, unhide everything, rotate it by 
90 degrees, put everything in the middle, hit the A key, shift tab, go to the render tab, A key again, bring this out a bit more, like about so, make the render window a bit bigger, 888, control enter. I love this black satin plastic, you can use it for almost everything. Go to the layout, select the Studio 01, back to render, and F9 to render this. And here we are. This is our simple steel drill bit. I hope it helped one or the other. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.